to episode number 18 of the ABCs from God, the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, Here Are the Last Letters of LGBTQ. In last week's show, we answered the question, should the North American governments officially declare we are at war? Welcome to our show today. I will give you the next five seconds to help support this channel by smacking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. If you're new to this channel, welcome and thank you for joining us today. As you all know, there has been a growing amount of letters and names added to the LGBTQ letters in the past few years. The new letters and names all have meaning to the people and or groups attributed to them. Can these letters be simplified within the Bible? Let's first listen to what the Holy Bible says when we don't recognize God. From the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 28 to 32. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. So this Bible quote here is the acronym for us men and women who do not recognize God, beginning with DM, debased mind, U, unrighteousness, E, evil, C, covetousness, M, malice, G, gossips, S, slanders, Hog, haters of God, I, insolent, H, haughty, B, boastful, I, O, E, inventors of evil, D, two P's, disobedient to parents, F, O, foolish, F, faithless, H, heartless, and finally, R, ruthless. Okay, enough with the long list of letters. Here are the final three letters in answering today's title question. They are J, C, V. Before giving you the full words, let's look at another Bible quote. Again, in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 19 to 27. For what can be known to God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely, his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world, in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. For although they know God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creepy things. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men gave up natural relations with women and were consumed for passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. These consequences ultimately are a result of rejecting the Judeo-Christian values, JCV, within the Holy Bible. Yet sin's penalty of death and life apart from God is also graciously erased by his Son, Jesus Christ. Despite you and I having committed a sin, or rather a bunch of sins, they are erased by Jesus Christ dying a substitutionary death for us. What we need to do is, one, confess that we are sinners, acknowledging our sins, now turning away from our sins, and two, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and begin following him. The initial stop with 
JCV, our Judeo-Christian values. Please join with me for next week's show entitled, Jesus, the Ultimate Avenger, the Ultimate Forgiver. For those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, John MacArthur at Grace to You and Alistair Begg at Truth for Life. And just a note, for today's subject matter, I would refer you to John MacArthur, who has preached on it several times over the years and given valuable Christian advice to people struggling with these sins. If you have just come to Jesus Christ, or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing his ABCs about being Christian. God bless.